An entire set of non-league champions, though? That'd take a lot of time. You're an awesome dude, Mort? Thank you! See, that's a first-time chat I can get behind. You're an awesome dude, Mort. None of this nerf Aurelia. I remember you said one of the goals with set 7 was to make spatulas more interesting. Without spoiling, do you think you guys have succeeded in that goal? Uh, I think we're getting there. I think... Yes, but there's still work to be done, is what I'll say. Ooh, Malzahar. Omnivamp. I mean, I might just play Malzahar because it's Malzahar. You know me, I'm down to play Malzahar anytime. Uh, have you guys ever considered about giving reward to a player who choose Augment earlier than others? For example, for first pick, player got two gold as a reward. Uh, I see what you're trying to solve there. I don't... Okay, so what you're trying to do is you're trying to solve the problem, like you said, of picking first, giving your opponents an advantage for scouting. Which I think is a fair problem to say we need to solve. I don't like that execution of the solve. Ugh. It's just makeshift. Veg. These are these are all pretty veg. But yeah, that's why I think there's other tactics we could do to solve it. All right, someone did request game song. What do we got here? Ooh, good choice. That's a good one. Hmm. Zeke's Sunfire or Edge of Night? I do like Edge of Night here. Hmm. I should pick, though. Yeah, I'm going to go Edge. Edge, I think, has a much stronger endgame, so. Changes to the stream? Yep. Yep. A um, lot of changes to the stream. New stream rewards, new setup, new layout. Uh, another fun one for you, for those interested, because some people had been asking. People were asking me to have a P.O. box so they could mail me stuff. I have a P.O. box now. Got that all set up. So, yep, a lot of changes. All right, drink a Pepsi. Did I pick the color scheme? I did. I did. Nick Hill 22M, appreciate the prime. Thank you. As set six head towards this end, how do you feel Colossus has gone over? Pros and cons. I personally love the concept and the unique opportunity, hoping to see more future iterations. I think Colossus has a lot of potential. I think we underutilized it, and I think the CC immunity was a mistake. The CC immunity made it so that there was very little counterplay, and so we ended up having to be really risky on our designs. So I think if we were ever going to do Colossus again, uh, I don't think we would <laughs> add the CC immunity. So. Is there a world where this is something other than innovator? It still seems like an innovator game.
Are you a fan of energy drinks? No, not really. Oh, this guy's way stronger than we are. Holy moly. Electro charge with Swain 2 and a Jarvan 2? Pretty skeptical we lose this, but... Mal's is trying his hardest, but no, I think Swain kills me here. Yep. Ah, good try. Good try. Oof. Great Ginger King. Appreciate the Prime. Thank you. Malzahar for Morello. Okay, first thing taken. Fine. Three cost above. Any chance we see something like Summoner from set two again? I know you said having all the units on the board was kind of tough. Yeah, I think something like Summoner would make sense as like a two or three piece. I think a six piece will never happen though. Because yeah, filling the board with lots of summons definitely hurts combat clarity pretty bad. Something like this. Maybe you could make it so that CC immunity only applies if the trait is active, so that random three-star Cho'Gaths aren't impossibly dealt with, unless you commit to both units at once. I just don't think the CC immunity is healthy at all. Like, I think CC immunity has to be something you choose to invest in at the cost of something else, not built into the trait. So. And like I said, it limits the design space, right? Because like, you can't make anything be super strong uh, offensive because you don't want a CC immune offensive god, you know, so. Aren't you investing playing one less unit? Yeah, the CC immunity is just too much though for that. Haven't seen any zillions or echoes. Oof, rough start. Alright, what are we up against? So, we have the Assassin that's real strong here. Frozen Heart Echo already has a Djinn. So basically we're losing to a lot of Hextech early. A lot of Hextech players in this lobby. Hextech and Assassins. With that much Hextech and Assassins, if there was a way to get this into a Trindomir game, that would be the way to go. Because Trinomir would do really well against these matchups. Oh, come on. How much HP did this have? Seven. This guy has six Twitches already. What's Mutant Trait this lobby? It's just a Omni Vamp. So it's not that good either. Hey, well. Three loss. Not going to complain. In fact, that's actually quite good to hit that. Innovator bottom right chatting. True. True. How long are you streaming today? I'll be streaming a while. I want to get a good six hour stream in. My son doesn't get home from school till three, so. A Nico? A Nico? Uh, Rubbermaid, appreciate the 10 months. Thank you. Have you ever considered units at very low HP doing less damage if they survive? No. That ends up being really complex. That's five innovator, literally right now. Miles goes away, this goes in. Uh, we don't hit... We wait one turn. Do you usually stream on Fridays? No. So I'm on vacation right now, so I can... I had time to stream. And then, like I said, tomorrow is the last chance qualifier, and I'd rather everyone watch that, so I don't want to stream tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, Seraphine gets grabbed. It's fine. Uh, 
Uh, malfunction, appreciate the five months. Life hack, if you don't have enough channel points for a most months answer question, just spend real life money and make sure he reads your message. I mean, you're not wrong. That does work. Swain, you got me? I think Swain's got me here. Nice. We take those. Trying to think here, who do I want my uh, carry to be? Is there any way this is Draven here? No, the Draven's a bait. I don't like. I have an okay item for it, but like, trying to like, I can hold on to it, but I just don't think there's any way we go from Innovator into Draven. I mean, I guess if I took out Swain, put in Draven, but he still wouldn't have any traits active. So no, there's just no way. There's really no way. Keepers is not bad here. Ascension's not bad here. They're both good. It might just be Keeper? Yeah, I think it's just Keeper. Comp looks like that. Uh, is there any way to, we can balance out traits, hearts, emblems without straight up removing them for set seven? Kind of don't want another innovator situation. Yeah, agree. We're working on it. We're working on it. The the big thing that we're gonna do next set that I think will help a lot is we're gonna be much more willing to make like hearts different tiers, right? Like if. Let's say, hypothetically, Innovator Heart was, like, ridiculously overpowered. It could be a Prismatic, and that would be okay. Um, rather than just saying all hearts must be Tier 1s. So, I think that change will help us balance them while keeping them in the game and fun. Uh, hey Mort, loving the layout, looking clean. Just wondering if Nico's Reforgers and Magnetic Removers count as one of the items you're supposed to get in total. Nope. Uh, Reforgers and Removers are literally free. If you got one, congrats, it's a bonus. You should be happy about that. And then uh, Nico's actually count as gold. So like you're getting instead of gold, you're getting Nico's. Oh, he took the sword. Damn it. And there's no armor. Lame. Um, but yeah, so Nikos are counting as something. You're getting Nikos instead of how much gold? Depends on what orb it comes out of. If you get a Niko out of a, uh, what is it, a gray orb, you're the luckiest person in the world because it was Nikos instead of three gold. So Nikos are definitely always a high roll, basically. I think this is just Warmog Swain. Nah, eh, I can hold on to it. I feel like this is Warmog Swain, though, but. Draven's dead. Nice. Hey Mort, is there a big difference in the meta between regions? It seems like balance is mostly done around feedback from the NA player base. Okay, I really, really, really hate that myth. That is an absolute myth that balance is done around NA. Um, obviously, balance will have some implications of NA because yes, most of the rioters are playing on NA, but we are definitely paying attention to all the regions. And if anything, We've learned that China is actually the region that is the furthest ahead of the meta, so we pay extra attention to China. 
because repeatedly they've been ahead of it. Uh, in addition, when we're looking at our data, our data grabs all regions. So like when we go look at our data, we're not just looking at NA, we're looking at all. So yeah, that NA bias thing, kind of an annoying myth to be honest. I feel like China comps have been nerfed before NA knew about it. Yup. Oh yeah, here's the six assassin player. This is where, thank God, we have keepers. Keepers will give us enough health to beat this pretty handily. Nice. What's the best comp in China? I mean, last patch it was six four two, six scrap four striker two hextech siver comps. After the nerf, not sure. China's regionals is being played on uh, 12.6b, so we don't know how they've adjusted yet. Yeah, they're they're playing on the old patch still, Shoshin, so I'm not sure if that's actually still the case. Like, I'm hearing Trindamir is catching up on... Uh, Trindamir is actually catching up in China right now. So, it might be Trindamir. Uh, hey Mort, first thanks for the content, awesome game. If you are if you are to do a host party, would you consider Bebe Keen to join? It would be interesting not only having NA players, what do you think? That would be cool. I'd be down. If I do another co-stream. I don't think I'm doing another co-stream for a while though, but assuming I was, I would be down. Put this in for now. Are you signed to T1? No. <laughs> I'm not signed to any team. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to sign to any team. So the nice thing here is I haven't spare Ezreal, so if I need to move the items, I can move the items. Oh, this frickin' Cho won't die. Oh my god. Whew. That was a little closer than it needed to be. Uh, what is mutant? It's Omnivamp. Omnivamp this game. Alright, do I just do it? I think I just do it here. My level instead of dropping Camille. Uh, Camille's still a tank. It's extra power. It punishes people more who are low rolling. And besides, if I find a uh, Oriana, we'll swap out Swain for Oriana. Keep Camille. So, ooh, X Plummy, add seven TTV emo emote of your choice. X Plummy, let my mods know which one you want. Uh, mods, when that gets added, let me know and I'll redeem the points. I'm not playing Victor. There's no way. I don't need this. We're basically looking for an Oriana. Okay, that was easy. So now with Oriana, we can take out Swain. Put this here. Put this here. Do something like this. There we go. Any value in Sniper 2? Yeah, there would be, but what do I take out?
Can you FF while playing in tournaments, or do you get fined if you FF? I don't think you get fined, but I think you definitely get viewed very, very poorly, and some in some cases you get banned. It depends on the rules, but... In what situation does someone say bat chest or bat? I mean, it depends. If you're soju, it's like, did a light breeze hit you and you feel good about it? You say bat. Um... <laughs> I, I gotta say, I, I personally, I'm not into the bat thing, but, like, it's definitely funny. Uh, we know what item we want. There's really only one choice, unfortunately. And it got taken. Damn. Alright, well, that means we have to take this. Because that's our backup. I don't want to do this, but... Because if we don't get any good item here, we'll just build the hurricane. Uh, Nymph UW, appreciate the three months. Happy to see you streaming on Friday. Weekends are usually busy. However, I always watch the YouTube VODs during lunch breaks. Thank for everything you do. No problem. No problem. It's added? Okay. Got it. Redeeming it. Paper sculpting! Appreciate the 10 months. It's been a while since the Lunar New Year event, but not a day goes by where I don't admire the new Dangos. The art team is absolutely OP. Please don't ever nerf them. True. True. By the way, uh, Paper, I'm working on a new batch of emotes. That way the Tier 2 and Tier 3 subs have something as well. I think you guys are really going to like this batch of emotes. But one of them is Dango related, so... Yeah. Uh, hey Mort Dog, just wanted to ask, do you think it'll be an improvement for other traits to encourage people to max that trait? For example, people think max challenger trait will be great, but max clockwork or enchanter is kinda extra and no point. Is that true? I don't know if I agree with that assessment. I, I think if, if there is a max trait that needs buffed, we will buff it, for sure. But I'm not sure that there's any that need buffed right now, except maybe challenger? Maybe? I can't afford request game song. Can you please play Pac-Man Jump? You know, I normally would say no, but since you're the first one to ask and you ask so politely. I'm down. To Aurelia? Yeah, but I don't need them. Uh, before TFT, did you still work at Riot? Yeah, I've been at Riot for five and a half years. I mean, even I got to get in on this one. Uh, Sugar, appreciate the gift sub. Thank you. Ice cream cone? Ice cream cone. Except ice cream cone doesn't do anything on frickin'... Ugh. Okay, well, we finished the hurricane. The funny thing is, I don't think we actually make the ice cream cone here. I think we go for cyber value. Uh, Skytab, appreciate the Prime, and Skaluska, appreciate the two months. Whew. 
Uh, Gonzo, appreciate the 100 bits. Thank you. Like I said, I think my bits thing's a little broken, so. No scrap? No, like I said, I'm just going for cyber value here. Because remember, I have cybernetic implants, so giving Singed extra HP, giving Oriana extra HP, that's the play here. I don't know, we're insanely strong, though. I was watching your Cinder Carry video and was wondering about the interaction between Silco ability and very VIP. It works exactly the way you think it does and that it is very, very good. All right, I think I'm gonna full greed this since we're so far ahead and we're winning a lot of our fights. Let's see, who are the strong people in the lobby? We just beat this guy. This guy is the Cho player, not that strong, not that strong. I'm really not looking worried at anyone in the lobby here, so. And our next level up is, uh, basically it's Jace for Singed and Zeri goes in. And that's our calm. Would you not pivot to Jinx here? I would not. Are you ever going to play double up with Kent or other devs? I mean, if Kent's down, I'm always down. I'm always down to play double up. Okay, the Sivir's doing a lot of damage, but I think we still win this. It's going to be a little closer than I'd like, but we, yeah, we win this. Okay, sweet. Still Seraphine 1, by the way? Yup. Alright, there you go. There's pack jump up. Uh, item wise, we are looking for. It's probably Zerat, actually. Let me double check that. Yeah, it's probably just. Actually, no. Let's just do this. Okay. And yes, I know that gives my team last whisper so that the djinn can penetrate, which is good. Cool. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll wait two turns because we're strong. That'll level us to the next level. And then we'll have tons of gold to roll down for like djinn 3... Someone says, uh, does anyone really have armor, though? I mean, we just are now facing a Leona Braum, so I'm very happy with this Last Whisper pick. And it's more cyber value. I think we lose this? Oh, no, he might Silco his team to death. No, we lose this. Just barely. No big deal. The Greed is reaching 1980s level. True. True. True! Alright. Uh, I need the echo. Don't roll. Cool. Alright, so again, what are we up against? This is the guy we lost to. Four sniper with the very powerful Leona we had trouble getting into. Position wise, it should actually be closer to this now. No, it's that. Okay. Um. And then we have the Draven player. Okay. 
And then we have the Sivir player. So there's some strong comps here. But we're going to get a lot stronger here. Good Oriana ults. Oh, if we could have got one more Oriana ult. But I think we still win anyway. Nice. You don't level up? Nope. We're being super greedy because it's a PvE round here. Now we've leveled up. Put this in for now. I can start rolling a little bit. There's my Zeri. Everything's two-starred. And we still have lots of gold left over. Whew. Yeah, team's too tanky. Boom. Feels good. Uh, Califix, appreciate the tier one for six months in advance. Very kind. All right, let's keep rolling a little bit. Three Sivers. Okay, it's this guy, but he has two of the gins. I kind of still want to keep rolling though, just to keep the gins out of his hands, is the funny thing. That way he gets no gins. Yep, we let him blitzcrank the zillion. That's fine. Ezreal should give me the shred I need, and this should be an easy first. This should be an easy first place. Uh, Skylar Vice, appreciate the 16 months. New Mort Pog, thank you. Ah, well. Ooh, one more. Alright, well, he still hasn't hit Jin 2, and I'm holding on to 7 of the Jins, so. Feels good. Feels good. Yep, he keeps grabbing Zillion. Frozen Heart placement's good. Ooh, his Orion ult hit me pretty hard, though. Doesn't matter, though. We're too far ahead. GG. Hey, Mort. Uh, how many of Ed Champ are in the pool like Jin? Uh, Jin is 12. Yep, someone just linked to the thing. Is there a Jin? There's no Jin, but there is a Clockwork. You know what? Just for funsies. No, no, I'm not taking that. No, no, no. We'll do this. We'll do the correct thing. Two Orianas. I mean, I think we win it this game, this round anyway, so... GG! Ugh, I think we're good. He avoids the Frozen Heart at least this time, but I don't think it matters. Oh, he grabbed the Zeri. Okay. Good Oriana ult for him. Uh, 
actually, did I get overconfident? My Jin's dead. Uh-oh, I got overconfident. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. So this is a case then where Keeper is actually kind of messing me up. Hmm. This should go well. This is fine. Frozen Heart's in a good spot. There we go. Alright. GG. Boom. First place. GG.